The much-awaited meeting between the ANC veterans and the ANC top leaders, including President Jacob Zuma, took place yesterday but left a lot of commentators and observers unimpressed. The ANC Secretary General Gwede Mantash said the discussions were brutally frank and Dr. Wallace Rote, speaking on behalf of the veterans, said the meeting had agreed to explore the possibility of holding a consultative conference to deal with corruption, factionalism and poor performance of the ANC as a political party that is in charge of government. Dr. Sarota is here to give us feedback of the meeting. Well, the meeting has happened and we are now joined by the representatives of, the representative rather, of the 101 veterans, Ndata Wali Sarota. A pleasure to have you with us, sir. Thank you, thank and, you. And uh, we appreciate. This is a long meeting that you waited for a long time, that's what I mean, long awaited meeting. And uh, finally it happened between yourselves, the yes. uh, President Zuma, and the National Working Committee of the uh, ANC, and the top six members were there as well? Mm -hmm. Everybody was. There. Right, but w and it's uh, based on your document for the sake of our future, right? And, and uh, what are the key things that you took to the meeting yesterday? Uh, Tim, first of all, uh, we had to focus uh, and talk about what is it that we should do to ensure that the ANC is united, the ANC is very close to the people of this country, listens to them, serves them. In order for that to happen, we agreed uh, we must do away with factions. We must, uh, our people are very, very concerned about corruption and we must talk very frankly about it, frankly and honestly about it. Uh, we are also aware that there are uh, branches of the ANC which are dysfunctional. We talked about that. We agreed we must attend to those uh, to, to issues of that nature. We, we also focused on the fact that we must never ever forget that we fought for non-racialism, we fought for non-tribalism, we fought for non-sexism, democracy, and very key, service to our people. Very, very, very key. We rose that uh, we discussed that very, very sharply and focused uh, among ourselves. Uh, uh, then the, the question is, if we're seeing this thing, of course it does imply that something is wrong in the ANC. Mm. Uh, and therefore, if something is wrong in the ANC, what is it that we should do to correct it? As veterans and stalwarts, we put on the agenda that we want to discuss the National Consultative Conference with the leadership and uh, we must discuss the modalities, and they sought clarification from us. And we agreed that we would like to sit down now and really uh, focus on the content. What is the content of, of um, uh, the National Consultative Conference? Now, let me ask this, uh, Dr. Srota, that is there agreement that such a consultative conference should take place or not? Uh, uh, initially, uh, there was objections to it. But I think after discussions, we agreed that it's something that we must put on the agenda and discuss together thoroughly, especially from our side, we should clarify what is it that we mean by this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm asking the question because, you know, when we read and we listen to different um, ANC leaders, they talk about structures and say even people like yourselves, the veterans, you must go to branches or you must go to whatever different meetings, whether it be the NEC, National Working Committee, the, the, the policy conferences, and there are numerous of them coming up before the elective conference in December next year, right? So in 12 months, I think there are m about eight major meetings of the ANC that are going to take place. So mm -hmm. it might be that the, the current ANC leadership might turn around and say, whatever you want to address at that consultative conference, you can put on the agenda of any of these meetings. No, as I said, as I said, uh, Tim, uh, we agreed. We're meeting on Friday again, and it is specifically to look at the content of the National Consultative Conference, mm. Mm. to discuss it and arrive at uh, an understanding about it. A question from one of our viewers who sent me the question, Pilas says, my question to the veterans is simple. Did they ask the president to resign? 
No, we did not. We did not ask the president to resign. Uh, we don't think that is a solution to the, to the issues. We understand why people are calling for that, you know. Uh, but we, were, we are not going to call for that. We want, as I said, the beginning of my statement is that the key thing is the ANC, we must work towards the unity in the ANC, unity of the African National Congress. That's key for us. Mm. So we cannot say we are talking about that and then say you and you and you resign. Mm. Uh, if time comes that uh, uh, so and so or so and so must uh, be discussed with about those issues, it will come, but it's not here now. And we don't think it should be there. Our view is that the, uh, the president was elected, uh, the NEC was elected. Uh, we should discuss with that leadership. Now, another viewer, Iponeng Mutaung, also says, are they actually, meaning the veterans, worried about poor, corrupt leadership or that ANC will lose power? We are very worried about corruption, as I said. And in all our discussions, we put it high on the agenda that it is among the leaders, it is at a, a rank and file, and it is a, a matter that we all understood that it is a key question which our people are worried about. That side of the National uh, uh, Consultative Conference, it will be, uh, have been addressed very thoroughly, very thoroughly. But, but time is not on your side, I suppose, in terms of, I mean, as I suggested, and it's a known fact, the elective conference is December next year. So you might have the consultative conference when? October next year? No, we'll, we'll decide on the time. Uh, to show that, that uh, the, the, we, we are with you, we agree with you about that. The president said, after all the discussions, we must make sure that when the festive season enters, we have done major progress on, in our discussions. And that is why, I mean, we were there yesterday, Friday we were back there again. Mm. And Friday when we are there, we are meeting now with the NEC. And all of the officials will be there. Just so that the public in South Africa gain a better understanding and appreciation for the efforts of the veterans, how, what was the tone of the meeting? I mean, how, how, how was it handled anyway? Because you have already suggested that ANC has got factionalism as one of its problems, corruption definitely at the core of everything else, and poor performance as a result of all of these things. So what was the tone of it? What, was it a friendly meeting to say, comrades, you know, we are in this thing together, find a way of hiding these things, don't do them in public. <laughs> what are people going to say? It is possible in this road, as you can mm. imagine, a meeting amongst friends who might be facing these things, in, you know, and because you can say stop corruption, but if you don't take any action against those who are corrupt, then what's the difference? No, I agree with you. As I said, um, we went deeply into discussion about uh, uh, corruption. And, but also we must understand that the NEC itself had raised the matter about corruption. Now you are right. After we agree that this corruption must go, what must we do? And I'm saying that is the content of the National Consultative Conference, and it must be discussed very, very frankly and honestly. And if there are consequences, we should not move away from those consequences. Is we ANC... Ha we we is, have to correct that. Is ANC in a crisis? I, I wouldn't say crisis, but I think we, 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 we've entered a very serious, difficult space for ourselves. We have. What, what's difficult? What, 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 what I'm saying is we have never been in this space as a movement. We are now where we have shifted far away from our people. Mm. We regard that as a very serious matter, very serious. We, what, what led to this, you think? Uh, it's a whole set of things, Tim. Factionalism, corruption, uh, uh, the matter of uh, uh, the Constitutional Court, the decisions of the Constitutional Court, all of these things have played a role. Well, I, and I'm asking the question because people would, are thinking, but these things do not happen by themselves, you see, because that's why we have leaders, isn't it? Because leaders must deal with these things. 
Uh, they are there, they are elected, they represent the ANC. For the veterans to come out of retirement and different uh, areas of life where they are involved to come and express these concerns shows that there are, as you say, difficult challenges yes. facing yes. Yes. the ANC. You see, are they, are they uh, self-made problems? No, they can't be self-made. We said in that meeting, uh, we understand ourselves that what goes wrong becomes wrong because it was done. But also, what has become wrong is corrected because it is addressed and corrected. Is we the, agreed on that. Is the ANC captured? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to get into ANC is captured. Uh, because what is captured? Uh, all I am saying is key in our discussions is two things. We want the ANC to be united. And it cannot be united if you have factions. It cannot be united if there, are, there, are, there is corruption. It cannot be united if it is uh, uh, flaunting the law. It now, cannot be. What is the view of the veterans uh, regarding the state of capture report by the public protector and the stories that are out there in the open repeatedly about the Guptas controlling parts of government and having an influence and over state-owned entities? You know, there is uh, what the media says. That's one thing. There is what the ANC has to say. And I'm saying, if there is anything about the fact that the ANC is captured, we will discuss that very seriously. The ANC must not be captured by anybody. That is the view of the veterans. The ANC must not be captured by anybody. But I think that we should be given the prerogative to discuss this matter properly. Uh, I understand what the, media, what the media is saying, but we have a responsibility as veterans and stalwarts and, and members of the ANC to discuss and come to a, a, an objective, fair, straight understanding of what all of that means. And I'm saying, if we find that there is a wrongdoing, the consultative conference will take a decision for consequences. In the meantime, there are issues around the Minister of Finance, for instance, Pravin Gordon, that uh, he's fa who was facing charges was likely to be prosecuted and those were withdrawn. And it looks like there's now a fight between the Hawks and the NPA on whether to proceed or not. So there is a generally held view out there that there's still a chance that he is likely to be prosecuted and the intention being to remove him anyway. And uh, I, I suppose something that concerns South Africans is that the intention is to take over the Treasury. Well, you know, uh, we did not discuss that. I am not going to speculate about what the Hawks are doing or not doing, but we are certain, you know, if anybody interferes with Treasury in an incorrect manner and the consultative conference is meeting, we will discuss that. We are very committed to correcting whatever wrong happened in the ANC. What is, what is the veterans' view of President Zuma? Because some of your members have already called for him to resign anyway. But as a collective, what is your view of the president's performance? The, the, the position that we took as a veterans who have signed this document is that we are not going to call for, for President Zuma to resign. He is president of the ANC. Uh, like all of us were going to sit down and discuss. And he must be part and parcel of that. And of course, he's got 12 months to go before the elective conference yes. anyway. So I suppose the point is, why should he resign when there are going to be elections? Is that the no, It's not why should he not resign. It's we want to discuss with him. What is the future as of at the moment? South Africans, what should they expect from all of this? I think uh, South Africans hopefully will be able to, to agree on Friday about the modalities of the National Consultative Conference. And as I said, we're going to deal with principles here. Uh, favor nobody, ensure that the ANC and the people of South Africa come first. That is the committed commitment of the, of the veterans and stalwarts. The so South Africa comes first, the ANC becomes part of, that solu of the solution of all the issues that 
must, uh, with, through which we must emerge that side, having united the country on, on the basis of what our constitution says, you know, that is what we should expect as South Africans. We want our people to be united and we want uh, the ANC to play a very serious role, a hands-on role on that in, in terms of ensuring that we serve the people, we listen to people. We talked about this arrogance of the ANC. We said it is completely out of place. It cannot be part and parcel of our political understanding. The ANC has never been arrogant. It cannot be arrogant now, and it must never be arrogant in the future. We talked about the fact that we should cleanse the organization of all uh, wrong things that have happened. We talked also about the fact that the ANC needs renewing team. Uh, of course, we went through struggle, and part of the, of the struggle jargon vocabulary is still with us. But we realize times have changed. The young people know nothing about that. We have to renew the ANC so that when they look at it, they understand that this is a 104 years old organization renewing itself for the 21st century and the future. That is Ruta. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. And that's the representative of the ANC's veterans who met with the top leadership of the organization yesterday. As we heard from uh, Dados Rota, the meeting will be continued again on Friday when they meet with the NEC of the ANC. Write to us our email address tonight at mudise.tv or share your views, comments on Twitter at Tim Mudise.